guys, what's up? It's Danny B here. Um, I've gotten quite a few messages from uh, YouTube people, Facebook, Instagram people mm -hmm. asking uh, where I keep <laughs> all my stuff at. Do you store it in a garage? Do you keep it in your trailer? No, I do not keep it in a trailer. Simple fact that I don't want heat getting to it. Uh, down here in Texas, it's really humid. Uh, for a while, I did keep it in a trailer. However, I noticed moisture built in the trailer and uh, some of my speakers were getting wet. Uh, <clears throat> so a few years ago, I did invest in getting a storage. This is the latest storage I have. I believe it's a 10 by 10, but I'm gonna flip this around here just to show you guys um, what we're using. So here's the latest storage that we have here, guys. It's a, um, it's a 10 by 10, it's pretty nice size, but we keep everything in here. Uh, we've got some stuff that we really don't use anymore, like these TVs, the 40 inch and the 55 inch. We used to put these up on trussing. We really don't use that anymore. A lot of these venues that we come in contact with actually have TVs in the venue and we use wireless HDMI. So we're actually able to plug in to these TVs wirelessly from more than 100 feet. We've got uh, the nearest wireless HDMI system, which lets us go up to 130 feet, I believe is. And that's plenty of room, plenty of distance to cover for us. But anyways, we're storing our subs in here. Our photo booth is back there. We've got truss system here. Um, we use these shelving systems for the truss, which are really phenomenal. Uh, these let you put extra lights up uh, on the side of your truss. You can mount them like on the side once everything's set up. I've got, I got this idea actually from uh, Kevin at Moonlight Entertainment, one of my great friends over there in Victoria, Texas. If you're in the Victoria area, and you have a wedding or event, that is the guy to call. Kevin uh, with Moonlight Entertainment. Him and his wife, Patty, are a phenomenal team. They do photography, DJ, MC, and they also do wedding planning. So give them a shout. Um, this is the photo booth. This is the Mojo photo booth that we're using. This photo booth has been phenomenal to us. It's uh, super fast, super easy to use. You don't have to be a photo booth uh, expert. You don't have to be a Photoshop expert either. It's very intuitive, it's very nice to use. So uh, we've got everything you need in here, everything we keep in here, every kind of stand you need. We've got a projector stand. We have got uh, super tall uh, stands back there for getting speakers way up high, which we rarely use anymore. We used to use these at big like color run events, stuff like that to get the speaker up high, to get it up over the crowd. We really don't use those anymore. Um, this is used all the time. This is the Chave gig bar. If you don't have one of these, I highly recommend getting one for these smaller gigs. Even for big proms, we've used these, especially if you have two, one on each side of you, they come in, in, uh, they come in handy, they're really good. Um, this is what we're keeping our new Shure microphone in. We got the new Shure SM58, the wireless. It's, it's been a really good mic. It eliminates a lot of those pops and those and those T's when people are giving toasts and speeches. Um, got everything like CO2 guns, which we use at really hype events. Um, this thing has been phenomenal. It's, it's a really good effect for, for uh, really hype weddings. Uh, fog machines. This is what you guys absolutely have to have. If you don't have some kind of a cart system, this is a rock and roller. This is the R11G. So uh, my good buddy Fro, he's on my team as well. He introduced me to this rig. I used to have the R8. Uh, it was okay, but this one holds over, I believe, 550 pounds if I'm not uh, mistaken. But this thing has saved my back so many times, making multiple trips. Um, definitely invest in this. When I first started out, I used to have to carry everything in by hand, and it was such a headache. That up there is the new uh, Mackie Bluetooth speaker. So that right there is phenomenal for doing cocktail hour. You can hook from a, an iPad and play like a cocktail hour playlist. So having a Bluetooth speaker, a wireless speaker like that is very useful for DJs, for wedding DJs such as ourselves because uh, we're always having to do cocktail reception hours in, in another room and you don't exactly want to run along XLR cable or if you haven't invested into wireless audio like we use the Sennheiser wireless system so it's easy for us but a lot of people don't invest their money in that stuff so um, having a Bluetooth speaker is well worth the money 
But anyways, yeah, we're thinking about clearing some of this out because a lot of this we don't use, but um, we had a few people ask, where do we keep all our stuff if we kept it in a trailer? And like I said in the previous clip, we used to keep it in a trailer just because we didn't want to invest the money in a storage. It's going back and forth, you have everything you need. But I tell you what, it's worth it because certain gigs you don't need everything and you don't want to dig through a trailer having to pick out certain equipment so when you invest in a storage you can get exactly what you need get in get out it's temperature controlled it's double locked it's safe so uh yeah this is where we keep everything just wanted to let you guys know that we're inquiring about it thanks for watching mm -hmm.